Lesson 11.2a, getting ready, addition equations, looking for patterns. Sometimes we can solve a simple equation just by noticing patterns and equivalent values. Here we have n plus 3n is equal to 3n plus 2. And the variable n will have the same value everywhere in the equation. 3n on the left side will have the same value as 3n on the right side. We can remove 3n from both sides of the equation. And remember the sign is attached to the term to its right. So we have n is equal to a positive 2. We don't need to write that positive sign, do we? So we can just write n is equal to 2. And remember, a variable just takes the place of an unknown amount. Instead of putting a question mark here, we just put a letter of the alphabet or a symbol to take the place of that unknown amount. We can determine the value of 5x in the equation. The variable x will have the same value throughout the entire equation. And 4x on the left of the equal sign has the same value as 4x on the right side of the equal sign. We remove 4x from both sides, and we're left with 5x is equal to a positive 15. What remains is the value of 5x. We know 5x is equal to 15. Can you look at this and figure out the value of x? 5 times some number is equal to 15. So by removing the same term or same numbers from both sides of the equal sign, we can determine the value of a term. When we remove a term or number from one side of an equation, we must remove the same term or number from the other side of the equation to keep the two sides equal to each other. We keep the equation balanced. If I take away the square from this side, now we just have a triangle, I would have to take away the square from this side in order to keep it balanced. If I didn't, and I took away the triangle instead, our scale might tip, depending on which one carried more weight. Whatever we take away from one side, we need to take away the same amount from the other side. Can we remove terms from both sides to find the value of 6x? I don't see a 6x on this side. I don't see a 4x on this side. I don't see a 5x on this side. Well, we can combine the like terms on this right side to equal 5x. Remember, there's an invisible 1 in front of this x. We have 1x plus 4x. That makes 5x. So we can remove 5x from this side, 5x from this side, and we're left with 6x is equal to 12. So yes, we can remove terms from both sides to find the value of 6x. When we remove terms or numbers from both sides of an equation, we remove the same amount from both sides. This one's easy because there's a 4b on the left and a 4b on the right. We can just remove these, and we're left with 6b is equal to 12. And this one is easy. We have a plus 3 is equal to 5 plus 3. We can take away the plus 3s and see that a is equal to 5. Now this one, we have to think a little further. We have 2n plus 5n is equal to 4n plus 9. We can't take a 5n away, but there's enough n's here in this term to take 4 away. If we break this up into a 4n plus an n for 5n, we can take away this 4n, and we can take away this 4n. For this one, we don't have an 8 on this side, we don't have a 7 on this side, but the 8 is great enough to be able to take 7 away if we split it into a 7 plus 1. So now we can take away this 7 and this 7, and we can see y is equal to 1 plus 5. Would we be able to remove 7a from both sides of the equation to find the value of a? Hmm, there's no 7a here, and 6a is not great enough to take 7 away. 
So no, we can't remove 7a from the right side, but we can break apart the 7a into an a plus a 6a. Then we can remove the 6a from both sides, and we have a 4a plus a a, an a, that makes 5a, and we have 5a is equal to 30. And we think 5 times something is equal to 30. Well, 5 times 6 is equal to 30. a must be equal to 6. So we're going to learn more about this in the next few parts of this lesson. So we have to be very careful. We can't take 7a away from both sides, but we can take 6. So we're finished with this first part. We're going to be moving on to 11.2b, and we're going to be modeling equations. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and I hope you'll join me for the next part of the lesson. Bye.